okay now this is the deal what i am this is the deal what i am creating let us assume okay deal in the sense fixed term deposit okay fd i am creating fd deal fd deal creating okay <clears throat> Okay, now I am creating the fixed term deposit relevant deal. Okay, now while creation of the deal, now here account assignment references. Okay, account assignment references. Now, now how I am going to map into the system the account assignment references for the update types. See. Now here, what I am going to do here is uh, my account assignment references. What I am instructing, what I am instructing, I have a sub modules. Okay, combination of okay. What I am instructing to the system. This is the derivation rule. Okay, derivation rule for my. Okay, I will write it here. Okay, account assignment. Account assignment. <coughs> okay, reference determination. reference okay derivation rule derivation rule if you have an experience how the derivation rule which we are going to map for profit center accounting okay the similar way here also it is going to work okay if any if anyone is having that experience about in that area so that it will be easy for you this step to understand now see now account assignment references i am going to create in this step what i have shown here but now this account assignment whatever it may be this account assignment reference how system should know this is belongs to particular product type particular product type particular company code particular transaction type okay based on my deter based on my okay derivation rule the system is going to the system is going to determine now let me explain you here i have a here i have a update types okay here we have the update types update types about update types i have already explained you okay now update types are nothing but a, the, the financial transactions need to post into which modules which the respective module okay now if i want to okay the update types i have a money market money market update types are separate update types are separate then at the same time i have for the for the securities or for securities update types i have a separate now let us assume here here what is the sub module which we are using okay so let me put it like this what is the sub module we are using is a money market okay so sub module which we are using is a money market what is the product type which we are using means in the derivation rule i am going to map like this remember okay the sub module which i am going to use money market then product type which I, product type which i am going to use efd the fixed term deposit which i am using then valuation area valuation area so the valuation area whether it's a depends on your requirement whether it's a zero one you are going to i mean it's a valuation area is a ifrs purpose or it's a or it's a local gap whichever you want so you so this is the derivation rule now now the system so the system the flow how the system it is going to this is the derivation rule which i am going to map to that to derive that one now in the system these update types okay the update types already it's interlinked with your transaction types okay now let me take the one let me put the flow how the final flow i will show you now now let us assume okay, sorry i will take this one when i will come this way so that it will be easy now let me explain the update types okay update types we have already okay update types are interlinked to your transaction types okay now update types are interlinked to your transaction types now 
now at the same time at the same time accounting symbols okay accounting symbols i will show you when we are going to determine the accounting okay i will show you that one also so that it will be so now you just assume at the moment only the account assignment references i am talking about then update types update types are interlinked to the okay posting specifications okay this is a very very important one okay where we are going to map the where we are going to map the gl accounts now update types are interlinked to the your posting specifications so what is meant by posting specifications and all we will see when we are going to map the gl accounts but posting specifications okay so the posting specifications then then now posting specific already how the posting specifications are interlinked the posting specifications are interlinked with the account symbols account symbols account symbols okay now account symbols it's a depends on depends on our requirement we must have to map the account account symbols okay i will show you once the once we will be there into the account determination part over there okay what is the okay what is mean by account symbols and all you will understand now now the now the logic will come now here okay sorry there was a some uh, Wi-Fi connection issue. Now, please understand. This is a very very important one. Now, while while doing the derivation rule, sometimes what will happen? Okay, and also after mapping the account, after mapping the account assignment reference means after creation of the account assignment reference, even after mapping the derivation rule also sometimes what system does the system will derive the different different account assignment references so that the system will throw the error stating that this account assignment reference does does not have the does not have the gl accounts mapping okay that is what i am explaining this step this much detail okay remember concentrate here this is important for you now Okay, now here account symbols are interlinked to the your position. Now, now let me go here. Now account symbol. See account symbols. It will play the key role. Now the account symbols. Let me take here. Okay, now account symbols. It's interlinked to the account determination. Okay, here I am going to keep it as a okay. Let me put it to the small thing. Oh, so here is the account determination. Account determination. So, so in the account determination, whenever we are going to map the combi with reference to the combination, the account to determine my GL accounts. Okay, what combinations which I am going to specify over here? The combinations which I am going to specify is a currency. If it is relevant for currency, okay. If it is relevant for, I mean, I am going to anyhow. We must have to specify all these things. Okay valuation class okay so the for this valuation class which we are going to map the gl accounts which we are going to map the which we are going to map gl accounts gl accounts okay so now this is completely the account symbols now you can see the process here okay the posting specifications and account symbols as of now i have not shown you but i will show you but now this is the completely the logic how system and also and also these update types these update types finally okay it's interlinked with this account this interlinked with the okay account determination one moment this is not shown finally these update types are interlinked with the your account determination based on this logic the system will 
the system will determine the account assignment references okay this is a important for you that is the reason i am explaining okay so you 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 can try how to map the derivation rule and all okay sometimes this is the error even in the implementation project this is a quite common error okay so the proper account assignment references does not have the deals the system will not determine the gl accounts if system will not determine the gl accounts you cannot post the documents into the system as simple as okay if i could say now let me define the new account assignment references okay however either it's a it's a around 12 characters okay 12 characters if i am not wrong the account assignment reference whichever okay how many characters you want you can define either it's a alpha and a numeric there is no there is no alpha particular there is no numeric okay with combination both combinations also you can define okay now let me define trm5 okay money market i will keep it just okay money market account assignment reference of okay trm5 i'll give but say if you want the same account assignment references you can use for other products also not only for money market fine so this is the just it's a save it now the next one is the important one now i have created the account assignment references okay now let me come back okay let me come back here define account assignment reference determination for o2c transactions okay so o2c stands for okay over to counter okay now our trans our money market it's a part of the o2c transaction okay come here define account assignment references now you can see there are already standard sap provided okay derivation rules are there okay now for see receivable fixed term deposit okay how the combination if you want to define the new derivation rule okay if you want to define the new derivation rule what you need to do the combination you must have to maintain either see for one okay i will show you first in one derivation in one derivation rule you can map multiple account assignment references and multiple product types so, okay now you you do not want to such situation you want to you want to derive is a constant value for your for your product type that can be also possible okay there are two ways are there one is a you can define as a constant also or if you want to if you want to define new derivation rule under the new derivation rule if you want to map multiple combinations also that can be also possible okay let me go here then see click on this click on the create step concentrate here click on the create okay okay now derivation derivation rule move enhancement it is there okay you just keep it derivation rule enter continue now here here you can enter okay here you can enter for the okay derivation whatever you want the description there is no standard remember okay derivation rule for for rule for trm5 i will give just high level company code okay i don't want to give particular things okay in this deal in this derivation rule i am going to map multiple things now now here what combination the system should determine what combinations okay go inside of this one okay then company code i want to first the system should identify the company code when it is going to determine okay now after company code what system should identify the system should identify okay product type the system should identify my product type then the next one what else the next which we but see i am i am uh, defining here okay as per my requirement but now if you want to have a again okay still drill down also you can the product category valuation class okay so however you want you can you can do the derivation rule mapping then then now what i have defined here is the okay company code product type i have defined now 
product category which I want to determine here. OK, then valuation area which I want to determine even for valuation area. This combination the system should determine. OK, now here in the target field. OK, in the target field, what is the target field now? Remember now I want to have a in the derivation rule. I want to have a company code product type product category valuation area with this combination. What is my what is my account target field is my account assignment reference. Remember interlinked. It's a completely interlinked. OK, now what is my. OK, here it is all <coughs> OK. What is my account assignment references? OK, so the target field is that account assignment reference. OK, so this is the important one. OK, now enter OK. Just enter. Click on maintain rules. Click on maintain rules. First save this one. OK, come to main click on maintain rules then. Let me save this derivation rule. Now you can see the whatever combinations you have selected.